fight Israel out of Palestine. Apartheid walls are a crime. Israel out of Palestine. See your hedge. Stop your crime. Israel out of Palestine. See your hedge. Stop your crime. Israel out of Palestine. See your hedge. Stop your crime. Israel out of Palestine. We're here today to highlight um, CRH's um, involvement uh, in the construction of the illegal separation wall, um, which when complete will be 725 kilometres long, um, and also the um, illegal settlements in the West Bank and in East Jerusalem. Um, CRH purchased 25% of the Israeli company Mashaf in 2001, and uh, since that time, the population of illegal settlers in the West Bank has grown from 360,000 to just under 500,000. Um, that's a hell of a lot of concrete um, in building all those homes. They don't build in timber frame in, in, uh, in the West Bank. They build in concrete, um, and they use a lot of cement in doing that. And uh, the Irish company, with a 25% stake, um, would have two directors on the board of Nesher Cement Enterprises. They are well aware of, um, of where their cement is going and how it's being used. Um, and they know it is illegal and we are calling on CRH to divest from, from Masher and its subsidiary Natural Cement Enterprises. People may be aware of the Russell Tribunal which was held last uh, November in London. And the Russell Tribunal investigated corporate complicity with Israel's violations of international law. It looked at um, the whole settlement industry and CRH is one of the companies that was condemned by the Russell Tribunal and found complicit with Israel's violations of international law and also exposes the company and its shareholders to litigation by the Palestinians for the displacement from their homes um, and, 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 and the infringement on, on everything to do with their, with their uh, economic, social and cultural rights, the right to work, the right to live, the right to go to school, the right to live in peace, um, the right to um, a homeland. CRH, stop your crime. Israel out of Palestine. CRH, stop your crime. Israel out of Palestine. CRH, stop your crime. Israel out of Palestine. Um, well, we put we put three key where well, we raised three key issues with with CRH. Um, the first one being the findings of the Russell Tribunal, which I mentioned earlier, yep. um, and uh, the possibility of civil or criminal action being taken against CRH. And we were asking CRH what level of uh, of uh, exposure um, are they prepared to take, um, and, and advising that really to avoid any possibility of criminal action, they should divest from from that show the interests of the shareholders. Mm. Um, we also then spoke about the, um, the OECD and we let them know that we, we've uh, raised a formal complaint with the OECD in Dublin um, to investigate whether CRH are in compliance with their guidelines in relation to human rights. Um, and the final thing related to um, Oh yeah, the shareholders are the fact that there's two directors on the board of Nesher who must be fully aware of what's going on mm -hmm. and, and what we were asking them. Um, what are they saying and what are they, what are they doing to address the issues in relation to their, to their shareholding? They just came back with the same um, response that they gave last year, which they admit. And they're just saying that we are complying with our, our obligations in relation to human rights. Um, and, uh, uh, and that they can't discriminate with the sell cement. So basically they had nothing new to come up with. Um, we've upped the ante now. We've, we've had the Russell Tribunal's findings. We now have the OECD complaint. And uh, it'll be interesting to see what's the next step we take. I, I suppose there's, there's a couple of things. We were going to raise it in the um, in the DAL, so the Joint Eurotus, um Committee for Foreign Affairs. Hopefully uh, CRH will be investigating with that. Um, so that's getting the awareness out to the politicians. Um, and hopefully whatever comes out of that then informs government policy in relation to companies and how they should behave in terms of uh, human rights laws. Um, that's one aspect. The other one is we start looking at the legal issues and look at the potential for taking the case against CRH. All of this is really is to put the pressure on CRH to make the step and divest. As I said today at the meeting, 
their shareholding in this company is actually very small in their overall operation. So you can imagine, small shareholding wouldn't cost too much to offload financially, but the benefits of the company would be massive because now they can stand up and say, we are an ethical company.